location is on the outskirts of the city. It is a new context. It's our 10th anniversary. We pulled our entire network together to come up with this crazy plan to come to the seaside and just do it. weren't a series of random fireworks going off, but there was an actual rhythm to how these were going off. Het is wel enorm knallend begonnen en echt de hele stad heeft het geweten. Ik heb ook als wethouder allemaal mailtjes gekregen. Wat is hier aan de hand? Maar mensen die het hier gezien hebben, die het beleefd hebben, die hebben allemaal zoiets van wauw, deze plek staat nu echt op de kaart. We are temporarily using a temporary theater that is temporarily not used. It's only because of this massive glitch that we are here. This amazing theater. It's a fact now. For us it is the question, what are the possibilities? It is a plea for experimentation, it's a plea for imagining what such a cultural center could mean or could be. The sea of random data I think everybody deals with on a daily basis. This reference to the sea is because all these opinions, all these headlines, all these media outings come in waves and everybody responds in waves and then everybody responds to that in waves. So it has kind of the same rhythm as the sea. When people lose vision, they're forced to deal with the other senses. You can navigate the space while you feel these sensations on your body. Rarely do we get to experience the senses in this amplified way. They feel like they're, they're walking into infinity. They feel like it's endless.
Especially when we are using our mobile phones. The mobile phones are doing a lot of things without us being aware of it. But here all the communication is going on in a humanly perceivable way by light and sound pulses and we become physically part of it by moving them around, by blocking the light and the sound. So we hand them out to the, to the people in the field and they take them along on the journey. So you never realize how big a theater stage is until they close the seats off and have a party on the stage and then you realize it's its own dance floor. lasers to draw shapes and I create sounds and I try to make sense out of this. <laughs> the performance starts from the back and it goes to the front. Everything is happening on the screen but at the same time it's, it's also the space in between. The shapes which are built in the room become part of the architecture of this whole space. It made me focus on each and every detail. It takes you on this trip. Impressing geeks is one thing, but impressing people who are just impressed because they like what they see is a completely different thing. Much better.